Welcome to Victorian Gardens Cattery. Today is May 15th or 16th, 2020, and we have not posted a new video in a long time. So this is the first one <coughs> we've had in a long time. We've just been very busy um, just playing catch up from last year um, from all the litters and we just had our first litter for 2020. Um, this is Larkspur. She's a Blue Point Himalayan. She's Hollyhocks, a little girl, and Primrose's granddaughter. So anybody who's watched the channel for a while know those names, Primrose and then um, Hollyhock. Holly left in February, or actually March, the beginning of March, for her new home in San Francisco, or actually in Oakland. And so Larkspur has a new litter from Miracle, my really sweet, sweet boy. And they usually have... Um, they, blue point, not blue points, um, chocolate points and seal points. So if you're ever interested in seeing Larkspur's other litters, um, just go to Larkspur, uh, to our nurseries page and go to Larkspur's um, nurseries. She's got a couple of them. Her last litter was five kittens. And um, I learned that Larkspur is an excellent mommy she has plenty of milk and they're usually very easy it's a very easy um, litter the first week meaning I don't have to hand feed or supplement feed so she has a boy and a girl so the boy you can see him here he is probably you can already see his ears are turning turning color so that's kind of an indication that he's probably going to be a seal point. And just look, he's only a day and a half old. And he's huge. <laughs> he was born at 112 grams. And he's been eating and eating and eating. And so has his sister. And these ki kittens are not even, um, well, they're 36, 37, 38 hours old. So... You can't really even tell that. They're not acting. Oh, be careful. I know you love him. I know. She's very protective. Um, she got that from her mommy, Holly, but not as bad as Holly. And now when I go to weigh these babies, and I'm weighing about every four hours, every six hours, when I go to weigh them um, and I have them on the scale, she'll go run over there and pick them up. And bring them back to the bed. Look at that little girl. Let's see if I can get it clearer for you. Come on, let's see. She's a sweetie. See, I've had enough milk, I think. These guys have been stuffing themselves um, and sleeping. Usually when a litter sleeps a lot, they're totally satisfied. And from their weight, <laughs> they have been doing great. Um, so the first 24 hours they gained, um, ex one gained, uh, six grams and one gained eight grams. And that's very good for the first 24 hours. And then, um, so far today, one's gained 10 and one gained, gained 12. So she's got plenty of milk. The boy is on the right. The girl's on the left. I think the girl is going to be a chocolate point. And I think the boy is going to be a seal point. Can you find a nipple? There's plenty. And as you can tell, Larkspur loves being a mom. And she has, I mean, this baby, the um, 112 was pretty big. She didn't complain one time getting him out. Um, And she knew when she was ready to go to the birthing bed. She knows the routine now. It's 
So I brought her in here without her babies while I went and got them and she was having a hissy fit. She wanted her babies. And yes, they are fighting on the nipple already. There's plenty of nipples. <laughs> and um, if lots of you remember Holly used to hug her babies. Larkspur does the same thing. She hugs her babies. She's got beautiful blue eyes. Well, I think he lost. Yeah, he definitely looks like he's going to become a seal point. So you can see the difference. Her fur is a lot whiter. And her color on her legs. And I think the little girl's winning on this battle. I'm not doing it, Larkspur. So the reason I came in here was there was a racket coming going on and what she's been doing is I think she's they're sleeping a lot because they get so much milk they get full and they sleep and she gets bored. <laughs> so she rearranges um, the nursing bed. I think she was also trying to get out which is a key thing her mom used to do. Her mom could get out of any cage any cage. This is a canvas cage and it's got locks on the um, zippers but um, and she Larkspur hasn't figured that out but Holly did. I, I, I would actually have to put um, big safety pins on the locks so that she couldn't still open them. So we'll um, say goodbye for now, but um, we'll be keeping up um, with her litter um, on, on YouTube. And we're going to get some quick pictures. And then we have another girl, a new mom, uh, named Bellflower, who's Hydrangea's daughter. And she got accidentally pregnant. Um, we were trying to slow down on our breeding and um, reduce the size, you know, reduce the amount of cats we, um, or lit amount of litters we were having each year, which means also having kit, um, our adults available um, for adoption. And this little girl was definitely in heat and she slipped through the gate to get into the kitchen where um, one of our boys was. So she's due, I believe, in a couple of weeks. And she's going to have all seal, maybe possibly some chocolate points, not sure at the moment. But it'll be all hemi litter too. So I hope everybody's staying safe during this quarantine. Um, our state is still under quarantine. Um, we're in phase one though and who knows how long that's going to last. So we've used the time to start a garden this year and still try to... I still have 15 cats and kittens so that keeps us very busy or keeps me very busy. Larkspur. I love it when they need dough. You know that they love it. And she ke keeps her hands out of the way so that they can they can um, feed. So the pink, I have a little pink. You probably can't see it in here. I have a little pink uh, little dot on top of her head. Uh, she's the closest one to Larkspur's head. And the female. And the male is um, quite content right now. He's got a very faint blue mark on. I thought they were both girls, but he is definitely a boy. So we'll say goodbye for now from Victorian Gardens Cattery. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye for now.